Good evening, everyone. Thousands of staff, managers and patrons at bars and pubs across Hong Kong are heading into an epic two week hangover. As of 6 p.m. tonight, all establishments were shut down under a 14 day government order to help stop the spread of COVID-19. But angry managers say the sudden order is confusing. And tonight they're blasting government officials for doing little to help them through one of the toughest times on record. Jackie Lin reports. Following the unprecedented shutdown of entertainment venues, including cinemas, gaming arcades and karaoke lounges, it's now the turn of bars and pubs to be temporarily closed. Under the new law, all liquor selling premises will cease operations for two weeks in a bid to further enhance social distancing. Expecting little to no income for the coming weeks, this bar is sending all their staff home. Its manager says they have no other choice. There are so many unknowns involved in all of this that there is no guarantee this closure will last two weeks. It could be two months. We really don't know. It's Industry representatives also worried it could further hammer their already floundering businesses. Since last week, the so-called and then postponed alcohol ban, the bar, the restaurant, the business never, really never come back. I think from 10% back to 15%, this is how bad it is. So I just want to tell the government to do something really think and do something effectively. While they urged the government to offer financial aid to their affected staff to help cushion the blow, they also shared qualms about how the new laws have used ambiguous words like mainly. This has left them in bewilderment over whether certain bars could continue businesses if they also offer meals. Lawmakers added its lack of clarity allows room for political retaliation. No way the sector could understand the law clearly and there leaves a very huge room of discretion to the law enforcement agencies, especially the police, which over the past few days we have witnessed that they could get into any restaurant and do any sort of measurements in the name of law enforcement. But in nature, it's like a revenge. Jackie Lin, TVB News.